Studies show that beer can be bad for you and that there is no way of getting around it. But Lucas Voss from our Cedar Rapids affiliate, KGAN, spoke to some people who are determined to try. It's one of the oldest alcoholic beverages known to man, beer. But a 2016 study also found alcohol to be the seventh leading risk factor for death. Yet the trend of so-called healthy beer options is alive and well. At times in the past, it was beer was just not a part of that. It was just if you're drinking beer, it's just it's a vice. It's not you know it's not good. And people are trying to understand how beer integrates into a healthy lifestyle. For experience, Het Brewer Andy Joint, the health in healthy beer comes from its ingredients, starting with clean water and naturally sourced products, local and fresh matters. So beer is. In its natural state, it's a living thing. It retains some of the yeast, which is a healthy component of beer. And I think it's just a, it's a healthier form of beer when it's brewed local and, and stays fresh. Many elements of beer are in fact good for you, but a component like NAD, an enzyme that is part of regulating our metabolism and present when alcohol metabolizes, diminishes and is not available to the body. When we metabolize alcohol in our liver, we're basically converting Two, two different forms of NAD. If you continue to drink a lot of alcohol, you can get an alcoholic fatty liver. And if you ask those who drink that beer whether they believe it's healthy. No, <laughs> not at all. To them, the reason why some beers are called healthy simply tied to selling more of it. You've got more breweries that are like up and coming, giving you like nice, more exciting beer. So I don't know if they're trying to be healthy. I just feel like they're trying to be more exciting. But most importantly. I don't think it's a healthy thing, but it's a fun thing.